In these times of economic recession, the euro is often seen as a scapegoat. Yet, far from being a handicap, the single currency acts as a buffer against economic crises. The euro nos protege, nos ha protegido en momentos de recuperación económica, nos ha permitido tener mucha más estabilidad, nos ha permitido tener baja inflación, bajos tipos de interés. Y ahora en momentos de tensiones en los mercados financieros, en momentos de, de crisis, también nos protege. Think back to the 70s. The oil shock plunged Europe into crisis. Unemployment, double-figure inflation, soaring fuel prices. Queues of car drivers waited to be served. Many service stations were empty. In the middle of 2008, an energy crisis once again struck Europe, yet there have been no shortages. The euro acts as a shield, a shock absorber against crises. This aspect is rarely perceived by citizens, for whom the single currency has above all one great advantage. When you buy, when you sell, it's much more easier. Despite these commonly recognized advantages, citizens often attribute price rises to the euro. Yet the fact is that the euro made it possible to curb inflation. At the beginning of the 80s, rates were in double figures and very different in different countries. They only began to converge a decade later during the implementation of the economic and monetary policies necessary for the launching of the euro. By 2002, they had fallen to only 1.6%. But this reality was not truly understood by the public. How can this be explained? There was certainly an effect of a one-time price increase when the switch to the uh, euro took place. I think people uh, realized, especially that in the leisure industry, restaurants, for instance, uh, cafes, hotels, these price increases were especially pronounced. On the other hand, this did not occur in all sectors. In reality, the impact of the transition to the euro on prices was only 0.3%. While certain products are more expensive today, others are much cheaper. In the eurozone, for example, the price of textiles, toys, telephones and electronic equipment has on average gone down by 30% over the past 10 years. Another advantage of the euro is greater transparency in prices. This is a godsend for some traders who, thanks to the use of a single currency, can easily find the best possible deal. On compare en permanence les prix. On fait que ça comparer. On sait exactement si on veut acheter un poisson. Prenons l'exemple d'un poisson. Il va être moins cher peut-être en Espagne. Et les frais sont les mêmes. Donc on va pas gêner. On va le faire. Avec l'euro, il y a pas de commission. On a le même prix que si on était sur place. Pour nous, ça nous simplifie vraiment la vie, vraiment. No more exchange rates. No more borders. The euro has simplified the lives of millions of citizens, holiday makers and professionals who travel throughout Europe. En général, on fait un peu tout. On fait la France, la Belgique, la Hollande, l'Allemagne. Si on va en Espagne avant, il fallait avoir de l'argent français, de l'argent espagnol. Il fallait avoir des marques, il fallait avoir de tous les sortes. Mais aujourd'hui, c'est tout en euros. Est... On n'est plus emmerdé. Here is another example of an SME that has greatly benefited from the single currency. Established in the Netherlands and Poland, the company currently exports all over Europe. La politique des taux bas qui a été engendrée par la Communauté européenne, vous pouvez en voir le résultat ici. C'est quand même ce qui nous a permis non seulement de nous développer, mais de nous financer, puisque l'investissement de cette entreprise, il y a ici pour plus de 10 millions d'investissements. Il fallait avoir des taux relativement intéressants pour pouvoir pour pouvoir se le permettre dans le temps. The company is now growing at 30 to 40 percent a year, which has led to the creation of many jobs. These real-life benefits are confirmed by studies on the impact of the euro 10 years after its introduction. In terms of, uh, of jobs, of employment, I think this is more the, the bright spot of, of the last 10 years. 
I said. I think 16 million new jobs have been created, more than in the job machine wonderland the United States. In the past 10 years, trading within the Eurozone has enjoyed a boom with an estimated rate of growth of between 4 and 10 percent. An important change has also been seen between the countries of the Eurozone and the rest of the world. For this German company in the automobile sector, a strong euro is not a handicap. Today it exports just as much to Asia and the United States as it does to other European countries. We believe that we not only we, but also Europe as such, are more competitive. Teilweise habe ich das Gefühl, dass der Euro mindestens schon genauso bedeutend ist wie der Dollar. Und das konnten wir auch sehen, dass gerade die asiatischen Länder vielfach sich in Euro eingedeckt haben, anstatt in Dollar. 